I have a tip on how you can uh, mark a bowl center if you forgot to use your live center to uh, to leave the little indentation. I know most of y'all have never done this before, but uh, uh, trust me, I've done it a few times. So let me show you a quick tip. I want to give this shout out to Rob Patrick, a, a, a member of my club and a faithful uh, viewer of my YouTube videos for this tip. Thanks, Rob. Okay, so we're going to take this rough rough turn bowl blank. This was done about three years ago. And we're going to go ahead and put a uh, put our our chuck on it. It doesn't matter if it's gone a little bit oval, because chances are that it's going to be somewhat uh, uh, symmetrical. Now all we've got to do is is make ourselves a little center finder that uh, appropriate to your particular chuck, whether it's a uh, if you've got a one inch spindle, you're going to turn you a one inch center finder with a, with a flange on it. If you've got a one and a quarter, you'll turn it to a one and a quarter with a, with a flange. You, you want a snug fit, not a sloppy fit. Now in this case, it stops because uh, it hits the back of the chuck on the inside. So I might consider taking this down a little bit, but this, this is really sized for, for a faceplate. But you put it on there and then you just take a... Uh, some sort of uh, mallet. I'm going to use a hand. It, this. You use a pen or a nail, whatever you're using, and just tap it down. And let me see if an awl would work. Again, you're going to make that hole to fit, and uh, I've got to make it a little bit larger for an awl. But an awl works works very well if you got a hole, because that way you can. Uh, you don't have to tap on it with a with a mallet, and then now you've got a got that hole. You can center this on the on your lathe using that hole we've just marked to to true up true up the bowl like this by bringing up the tailstock. You know, with a uh, chuck uh, with a, a spindle blank or something holding it up like that. Now that we've got it got it marked. Now this trick also works with with your face plate or possibly a glue block. Let's say we got a glue block like this and we want to center a block of wood on it. All we're going to do is use our, our center finder like that and now in this case we're going to use this a little differently. We're going to go ahead and spread glue on here then we're going to put this through here and we're going to line it up with that indentation and bring it down to to get it fastened on the center. I hope this is a good tip for you. Y'all stay safe. Come on back here.